In this example, we want to find a power series centered at x equals 0 for the uh, given function. Okay, so for this function that we're given, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a rational function. So the ideal way to approach this is to go ahead and apply the partial fractions to split it up. And then for each part, you're going to uh, use the definition of the geometric power series. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Find the, uh, go ahead and use the partial fraction decomposition method. Okay, so we're going to apply partial fraction decomposition method. Okay, so we have 3x minus 1 all over x squared minus 1. That is, uh, so we can, so we look at a denominator, and that's going to be broken up as x minus 1 times x plus 1. So we're going to have a okay, over 3x, I'm sorry, a over x minus 1, and b over x plus 1. Okay. All right, so... Okay, we can, we can go ahead and solve for a and b now. Okay, so we're going to have a times x plus 1 plus b times x minus 1. And we want this to be equal to 3x minus 1. Okay, so we have ax plus a plus bx minus b equals to 3x minus 1. So that means we have a plus b times x plus a minus b equal to 3x minus 1. Okay, so this is going to be, going to be paired up with the 3, okay, and this term will be paired up with minus 1. So that's going to give us two equations and two unknowns to solve for. Okay, so we're going to have a plus b. So let's do this out here. So we're going to have a plus b equals to 3, and a minus b equals to negative 1. So we can add these. Okay, we're going to get 2a equals to 2, so that says that a must be 1. Okay. And then we can use either the first equation or second equation to find b. So I'll go ahead and use equation 1. Okay, to find b. So we have that 1 plus b equals to 3, so that means b has to be 2. Okay, so we have, we have that a is 1 and b is 2. Okay, so Okay, so 3x minus 1 all over x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 over x minus 1 plus 2 over x plus 1. Okay, so, so what we can do is, okay, we want to find, so remember we're trying to find the series for this function here. Okay, so all right, so for this right, so for this function. So then we can go ahead and uh, find the series for for this one, okay, and then for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna call this one and I'll call this one two. Okay, so for the first one. Okay, we have Right, 1 over x minus 1, okay, so this is the same as 1 over negative 1 plus x, okay, and that is the same as, okay, uh, re recalling the, the form, the geometric series, uh, uh, the function for the geometric series, we have a over 1 minus x, so we need to 
divide everything by negative one. <laughs> okay. All right. So this. Okay. All right. So then this is just the series, right? From zero to infinity of negative one times x to the n. Okay. So now let's look at the second one. Okay, we have 2 over x plus 1. Okay, so okay, so this can be written as 2 over 1 minus negative x. Okay. All right, so that means, okay, so applying the uh, geometric power series definition, that means we have like the, the infinite series of 2 times negative x to the n, okay? All right, so, all right, so this is what we have so far, okay? Okay, so for our function, okay, we have 3x minus 1 all over x squared minus 1, okay? So this is equal to, okay, in terms of the series, we found that, okay, from the first one, uh, we had minus 1x to the n, and then the second one, uh, we have 2 times minus x to the n power. Okay, so the radius of convergence, okay, the radius of convergence for this is, uh, is going to be x value for x between negative 1 and 1. Okay, in other words, the absolute value x less than 1, and the same thing for this one. Okay, all right. So if, okay, if, if we want to, well, we're adding these together, okay, so if uh, we can consolidate this series, okay, um, in this case, they have the same domain, okay, so it's going to be whatever the, uh, in this case, I'm saying domain, which means, the, in this case, the interval convergence. So you take the intersection, okay, of the two, two sets. Okay, if you want to consolidate these. Okay, in this case, the radius of convergence is the same. Okay, so we so it's just going to be the same set itself. Okay, and so we can we can go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. Okay. All right, so we're going to get. Uh, <clears throat> this is going to be. Minus one x to the n, and then over here you can write this as summation of minus one to the n. I can we can take that out, okay? And then that's going to leave us with two times x to the n, okay? All right, and then we can consolidate these, okay? So this can be combined, okay, we have minus 1x to the n plus minus 1 to the n times 2x to the n, okay, that's just using the properties of summation, and then we have x to the n, okay, as a common factor. So this can be written as minus 1 plus, okay, minus 1 plus negative 1 to the n, and let me put the 2 first, it doesn't really matter, but it's okay, and then we have x to the n, all right, so, 
So that is that is our result. Okay. Okay, and we can actually well we can rewrite this as two times minus one to the n minus one and then times x to the n. So all right, so this is the result that this is our series that we need. Okay, so this is the power series for our uh, for our function. Okay, and again, um, the interval convergence. We just take the intersection. We take the intersection of these two. Okay, and so this is going to be converging for. Okay, so this is going to converge for. The values, the absolute value of x less than one. So, so for the values of x between negative one and one. Okay, so that is our result. Okay.